Good afternoon everybody and welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. Today we have a fresh new box with something special in it for the Camaro. So we are headed over to Westy's shop. We have another thing that's waiting for us there as well. So hopefully we can get both of these things done today. So we're kind of in a rush so we don't have time for the normal intro but we're gonna start the vlog from the car and do our cold start right here. Thank you to whoever invented the backup camera. I did not know where I'd be without you. All right, on that note, let's talk a little bit about exhaust. Now on this car, if you don't know already, it has the American Racing headers, one and seven eighths headers with the uh, long tube setup and into the quad tip exhaust system that they have for the sixth gen Camaro. Now this system will replace an NPP system and in my case, replace the non NPP with a single tip on either side. And I swapped it all over to now look like it had NPP and originally because I ended up having to replace the lower diffuser as well. But now that we've got that all done, the car sounded great. Compared to what I had before, it was so much louder. I just loved it. Didn't drone on the highway or anything like that, obviously. We are driving and I can speak to you guys just fine. It's not a real obnoxious, noisy kind of thing. I went for cats on this car because of the state inspection and all that kind of good stuff. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna get catalytic converters because I didn't really want to get stung on inspection or something like that. It being a new car, I didn't want to have to take it in and, and have them say, well, it fails, you have no cats and whatever, and then try to get cats after the fact. So for that reason, I did buy the CAT-IN system from American Racing Header. So I've got some high flow catalytic converters on here. And now that I've been driving it for a little while, I've kind of gotten used to the sound and I kind of want more. So what I did is I went through Westy because he's a dealer for American Racing Headers and uh, he ordered me up some off-road connection pipes. Now these aren't exactly, yeah, they're kind of a, more of a gray area or maybe you shouldn't be putting them on on the street kind of thing. But I figure since I'm gonna have the catalytic converters already, if I do end up with any kind of issues over them, I do have them to just bolt right back on, not a big deal. So we are gonna be putting the off-road connection pipes on the 2017 Camaro SS today. And I'm gonna give you guys a sound clip of what it sounds like before and after. And I hope it's a dramatic difference because I'm excited to make this car louder, give it more flow, and hopefully pick up a couple extra horsepower. Okay. So we're at Westy's shop. What we're gonna be doing now, we let the car cool off, I'm gonna bring it into the shop, and then we're gonna swap the cats for the off-road connection pipes. But first, what we're gonna do with our trusty decibel meter, we're gonna put it by the exhaust with the ARH cats, high flow cats, and we're gonna see the difference in how much sound we're gonna get without the cats after we've got this all changed out. So let's do our before shot right now and see what kind of decibels it makes with cats. <laughs> Okay, 113.5 with the ARH high flow cats. So let's see what it's gonna be like after we get those swapped out with the off-road connection pipes. So unfortunately for me today, there is a car on the hoist, which is a kind of a longer term project and it isn't exactly an easy one to take on and off. So we're gonna leave that one on the hoist and do this job on the ground. But at the same time, I'm gonna be able to show you guys that this can be done at home as long as you have a couple of jacks and jack stands and aren't afraid to get your hands dirty a little bit. So let's go underneath and see what kind of situation we're dealing with. So what kind of situation with getting jack stands out of this car are we dealing with? Well, the situation where you have to remove a bunch of plastic skid covers and beautification plates and bullshit to make it happen. <laughs> Why? Just to make it look pretty. Does it? I, don't. I think it's sexier without it. But I mean, I guess it's not quite as aerodynamic without it. You know, it's not quite as smooth on the bottom, so. 
It's got to be a reason for it. It's part of the aero package. Must be. Part of the off-road Z71 skid package. Yeah, well, it's a, it, this is the NASA-developed aero package. Absolutely. I mean, we are doing off-road connection pipes, so this is kind of more of the off-road package for the SS. Yeah. So we remove these covers from underneath, and they kind of go right in this area where the jack stands are placed which gives you enough meat so you feel safe underneath here without a jack stand trying to pop off a control arm or something like that but it's going to give us enough room to get at these catalytic converters and get rid of them Okay, these are our high flow cats. These are our off road connection pipes, as you can see. Nothing but straight through. And these ones, these ones here have our catalyst inside, which is giving us a restriction. So it's time to open her up. Okay, off-road connection pipes are installed. Now it's time to do a decibel meter test. All right, well, we picked up a couple more decibels on a cold start, which is not really a super cold start because this engine's somewhat warm already, but we're gonna take it out, put it under load, and that's really the true test of how loud this thing's really gonna be. Well, it isn't a huge, huge difference taking off the high flow cats and putting on the catless mid pipes, but it definitely gives you a little bit more of like a throaty sound when you rev it. But it doesn't make it like obnoxious and annoying to listen to while you're driving down the highway. It definitely does not have a drone or anything like that. But when you're getting into it, you notice that it's got a lot more of a throaty sound and it actually sounds much better in my opinion. So if you're thinking about getting rid of your high flow cats and you want a little bit more extra sound and a little more flow, probably pick up a little bit extra horsepower. It's probably a really good idea because I am definitely happy with the fact that I did that. So if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Drop your comments in the comments section and keep that hammer down.